has, of course, the Falcon Wig doors, uh, which uh, did, did cause us some challenges, uh, but uh, <laughs> now, now they're working. So uh, now, then going from the, the, the S and the X, we finally come to, we come to, to, to step three, or the, the final step in the, in the master plan, which is a mass market affordable, affordable car. Um, it was only possible to do that after going through the prior steps. Uh, but, we're, but we're here, and we're here to show that to you tonight. Woo! So, Okay. <laughs> so I'm going I'm I'm to describe some of the, the aspects of the Model 3, and then we'll, and, and then, and we'll yeah, so let's, let's move to describing. <laughs> well, so let's, let's show the master plan again. <laughs> okay, so that's the master plan with, with steps 2 and 2.5. And, <laughs> and now going to, to, to the Model 3. Uh, first of all, I want to start off by saying the Model 3 is going to be an incredibly safe car. Um, we really believe at Tesla that safety has to come first. We, we care about you. We want you to be safe. We want your friends and family to be safe. This is paramount. The Model 3 will be, not just be five-star on average, it will be five-star in every category. <laughs> and e even, the base model of, e even the base Model 3 will do zero to 60 miles an hour or zero to 100 kilometers an hour in less than six seconds. At Tesla, we don't, we don't make slow cars. <laughs> okay, just, uh, um, and, and of course, there will be versions of the Model 3 that go much faster. <laughs> and in terms of range, the, the range will be at least an EPA rating of 215 Woo! miles. Woo! I want to emphasize these are minimum numbers. We, we hope to exceed them. It will also, uh, all Model 3s will come standard with autopilot hardware. <laughs> and all the autopilot safety features will be present in, in every car. That you, don't, that you won't need to buy an option. The autopilot safety features will always be there. So. The, the Model 3 also fits five adults comfortably. Now, now comfortably is the important part here. <laughs> okay. Um, but the challenge, obviously, with building a smaller car is how do, you, how do you still make it comfortable with a bunch of people inside? So there, there, are, there are two important uh, design steps we did with the Model 3 to achieve that. One was to move uh, the instrument panel or the firewall. There really isn't a firewall. <laughs> we don't have a big combustion engine in front. We, we moved the front seats forward and compressed the, the instrument panel. When you, when you do your uh, rides tonight, you'll see what I mean. The, the, you're sitting a little further forward. It actually feels great. Um, on the front seats. That's what gives, gives you the leg room uh, to have five adults, and so that your first and second row have plenty of leg, leg room. Then on, on the, the, the rear uh, roof area is actually one continuous pane of glass. Um, and that, 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 the reason that that's great is because it gives you amazing headroom and a feeling of openness. So it, it, it has, I think, by far, it's the best feeling, best uh, roominess of any car in this size. Then, then in addition, it has, just, just like the Model S, it has a front and rear trunks. Right so, right uh, you, you can, it, it has more cargo capacity than any uh, gasoline car of the same external dimensions. And, yeah, and uh, <laughs> you, you can actually, uh, somebody asked me this question recently, um, is can you fit a seven foot long surfboard on the inside? The answer is yes, you can. <laughs> then with respect to supercharging, uh, all Model 3s will come with supercharging standard. So, so the reason supercharging is very important, as, as many of you know, is that it gives you freedom of travel. Okay, it means you can conveniently go where you want, where you want, how you want. Uh, and a lot about having a car is it's about freedom. It's about do, going where you want to go. And, and so the, the supercharger is critical to that. 
So we, we're now at the point where we've built out over 3,600 superchargers worldwide. And about the, same number, about the same number of destination chargers. That's present day. By the end of next year, we will double the number of superchargers. And, and quadruple the number of destination chargers. So you will be able to go virtually anywhere. And in fact, because the onboard charge of the Model S is able to adapt to any country's voltage and amperage, wherever you go in the world, if there's electricity, you can charge. <laughs> so. So, so then what about buying and servicing? So where we are today with Tesla is we've got 215 locations um, in Asia, North America, and Europe. And uh, by the end of next year, we expect to more than double that to 441 locations. So, but the, the key point being, it, no, almost no matter where you are in North America, uh, Europe, or Asia, you'll, if, if you're in any, near any even mid-sized metro area, you'll be able to buy a car and get your car serviced. So, now, how are we going to make these cars? Okay, good, good question. <laughs> um, we need to achieve high volume production. So this is, in, this is in two parts. First, there is the vehicle factory. So the, the, our, our Fremont factory uh, in the past has actually made uh, almost 500,000 cars a year. 